Hi Kindergarten, it's Miss Hartman here. I'm so excited. Today we're going to be talking about making equal groups. And I remember when I was a little child, my favorite thing was to take my dad's penny jar and dump it out and sort all the coins and then I would count them one by one. And so I'm really excited that I get to do that with you today. So I have some pennies that I put out of my coin jar and I made sure that they're all the same kind of coin. And if you can do this at home today, that would be wonderful. You can get together a group of pennies and we're gonna first start with just 10 pennies. So first I wanna count and make sure that I have 10 and I'm gonna use a strategy today called touch and drag. So that means I'm gonna just touch each coin and as I say a number, I'm gonna move it and drag it. Just kind of like if you were touching a computer screen and you were moving an object on the screen. So you can go ahead and get your coins and come back with me. And when you come back, we'll be sitting and touching and dragging together. Okay, we're all back together again now. And so we're going to take our finger and assign a number for each one that we touch and drag. Here we go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And I can see that I have ten pennies now, and I actually, when I touched and dragged them, I ended up with a certain array or an arrangement, and this array is a rectangular array. I can see that, and it's made up of columns, and it's made up of rows that are the same. So I could say that each row is filled with two pennies, or I could say that I have two columns that are made up of how many pennies each? Two, three, four, five, five and five. And I know five and five is 10, that's right. Today we're gonna to be talking about making equal groups and we're going to be using that touch and drag strategy, but we're going to actually need a wipe off board for this activity. And we're going to take our marker and draw a line from the top down to almost the bottom. So for this activity, you don't have to draw it all the way down because you wanna have a space for your coins like I have here. So as you put one coin on one side, then you'll put one coin on the other and we're gonna to try to work to make equal groups. So I'm going to count one over here and one over here, one over here. That's right, one over here. I'm gonna move them over so you'll be able to see my result. So far I have two and two, and two is equal to two. Actually, I could draw an equal sign right here to show you that symbol. Remember that equal sign means the same as, because two is the same as two. I'm gonna keep on separating my pennies and putting one on each side to try to make equal groups. So now I have two, I have three on this side and two on the other, but in order to make it equal, I need to add another to this side. Three is the same as three. Four, you got it, is the same as four. Hope I have a couple more pennies left over here because I remember I started with 10. So now I need to put that five on that side and my five on the other. I'm gonna open up my camera a little bit so you can see all of them. And now I have one, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. I have five and five and that they're equal to each other. They're the same as that. So I'm gonna put a five underneath of this group and a five underneath of this group. And if I wanted, I could erase this line now and say that five is equal to five. Or you could say it like this, five is the same as five. That's right, they're the same thing. So now I want you to go ahead and try it again with a different set of objects. Ms. Hartman's gonna try it one more time. I think this time, I'm not even gonna count out my beginning group. I'm gonna just use a whole bunch of paper clips. Let me get my eraser here. Hmm. Where are my 
eraser went. Oh, there it is. So I'm going to erase my board. Oh, I'm excited because this time I got a whole bunch of little objects. I'm going to put them down. Oh, you know what they are. Paper clips. So I want you to grab a little group of objects from your house. Go ahead. Go get a handful. And you're going to go ahead and put that down. You don't want to grab a ginormous handful. We don't need all of these paper clips, but just a small handful so that we can practice making equal groups today. Again, when you come back with your objects, you're going to take your little handful, move it down on your wipe off board, draw a line down the center. And remember, we're trying to make equal groups. So you can even erase a little bit of the line and you can make the equal sign. And that's just two lines parallel to one another. Okay, that's showing me equal. So again, I'm going to touch and drag one to one side and one to the other side. And it really does help you if you line them up to be able to count from the left to the right. It doesn't matter if they're the same size. It just matters that they're the same amount. You see, this is a big paper clip, but it still only counts as one. I'm going to keep on going from one side. Now, see, I have three on this side, but I have only two on this side, so I want to make sure I keep on making equal groups. That's right. Now I have three and three. So I'm going to add some to this side. Oh, look, that's a different kind of paper clip. That's, that's number four. It still only counts as one. One, two, three, four. Now I'm going to put another paper clip on this side. So now I still have four and four, even though these look different, it's still four when I count them and there's still four on this side. So they're still equal to, they're still the same as. I'm going to keep on adding to each side. Oh my goodness, I have a lot of paper clips to add today. I think I'll start a second row so I can organize them. Oh, wait a minute, Miss Hartman, hold on a second. You started putting too many on this side. Remember, you want to go one, and then you want to go to this side. You want to go back and forth and make sure that you, it's kind of like a mirror. When you look at a mirror and you see your face back shining at you, this looks like a mirror. When you're doing an equal sign, this side reflects the same as this side. Okay, it might look different, but it still means the same. All right, I've got one on that side and one on this one. Oh, I'm almost done. I'm so excited. I wonder how many paper clips I'm going to have in the end. Maybe it'll be really easy to count if I line them up. Oh. Now you see I'm left with one, and I can't split that in half to make two equal sides. So I'm going to take this one, and I'm going to get rid of it. I'm going to put it back in my bowl. Okay, so now I have equal sides today, and I'm going to make sure that I do because I'm going to touch each one and count to make sure that this side is the same as this side because I've got to make sure. If I have an equal sign, it means the same. Okay, let's go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And before I forget, I'm going to take my marker now and I'm going to just write the number 10. I know how to write that number, and I want to record what I just counted. Did you notice that when I'm counting, I'm making sure to slow down, and I'm touching each one? Because if I go really fast and I don't assign a number to each one, I could really make a mistake. And when I'm working with math, I want to work on accurate counting, okay? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10. Oh, I have 10 on this side too. So I'm going to put my 10 down before I forget. And I'm going to take my eraser, erase the line in between them now, because I want to put an equal sign. That's those two parallel lines because 10 is the same as 10. Or I could say 10 is equal to 10. This amount over here is the exact same amount as this amount on the other side. Have fun making equal amounts today. See if you can challenge yourself with one more handful. Have a good day, kindergarten.